Welcome back to Meemaw's House. We're going to get right into our Valentine's celebration by writing out Valentine's cards. So Just the kids. These are the Valentine's. We got Noah and Peyton to get give to their classmates. Mm -hmm. yep. Peyton is having a little snack. Mm -hmm. And Noah is just here. Yeah. And he's going to help with um, writing out the um, Valentine's. Peyton had 23 cards she had to write out, and she did a great job. She struggled a little bit getting these together, but she didn't give up. Let's start with making the filling for our cupcakes. It's a real nice smooth filling using jello pudding and cream cheese. We'll cook the pudding as it is instructed on the box. Let it cool and then we'll add our cream cheese. I forgot to tell you, on the pudding you only want to use three quarters of the milk that is required on the box. You want it a little thicker. Using only a portion of the milk makes for a nice thick pudding and I'm going to cover mine with plastic so that it won't develop a skin. We're going to start baking our cupcakes by pulling together our dry ingredients which are two and a half cups of flour, one half cup unsweetened cocoa powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt, and we'll sift that all together. Now that our dry ingredients have been sifted together, it's time to get our wet ingredients together, which includes four large eggs. You see I'm cracking them in a separate bowl. That's what we do, so we won't have shells in our cake. One half cup of milk. Oop, I'm running out of milk. Got to try this again. Mm 
Now that's better. We'll need one cup of sour cream, which Ari is measuring out for me. Because you know she has to have her hands in it. That's the only way she's going to learn. Since we were measuring out sour cream, I thought I'd go ahead and measure out the two tablespoons I'd need for the frosting. We'll also be using two teaspoons of vanilla extract and a bottle of red food coloring. Okay, now it's time for us to get our two cups of sugar and our softened butter, one cup, in the mixing bowl to cream. To your creamed butter and sugar, you want to add your eggs one at a time until they are well incorporated. Don't forget to scrape down the size of your bowl so that you can get all of your ingredients mixed well. Now it's time to alternate your flour mixture with your milk and your sour cream. You want to start with your flour and end with your flour. Before I add my last little bit of flour, I'm going to add my vanilla extract. And my red food coloring. Now Peyton is going to help me get these muffin tins all lined. Mm. 
Now with our oven set at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, we'll bake our cupcakes for 10 to 15 minutes. Now with the leftover batter, I'm going to make me and Peepaw a little six inch cake for our Valentine's Day celebration. I've cut out a piece of parchment paper and sprayed the pan and the parchment paper with my nonstick spray. and it is just enough batter to fill this little cake pan. So it will go into the same oven for about 30 minutes. We'll start with one stick of softened butter and one eight ounce package of softened cream cheese. Then to that, we'll add our two tablespoons of sour cream and a little bit of vanilla. Now we'll add about a cup of powdered sugar to start. We'll get that smooth and then add some more. We'll mix that until it's light and fluffy. Now the pudding has cooled and I'm going to add the cream cheese. Now that the filling is creamy and smooth, we'll put it back in the refrigerator until the cupcakes have cooled. Okay, so the cupcakes need to be moved up to the top shelf so that they can finish baking. Cupcakes are ready. Well, at least one pan is. Now the second pan is ready.
Now it's time to put the filling and the icing into piping bags. Uh oh we filled him too much we'll just take a little bit off the top and now i gotta clean my tip off hold on I'm not going to put filling in all the cupcakes because not everybody likes filling. And of course, I'm going to be sharing these with other members of my family. You know, when my children were small, we lived in Panama, and there was not a whole lot of places we could get good baked goods. So I had to learn how to decorate those cakes for our children's birthdays, and it has paid off and come in handy. Now let me finish decorating these cupcakes, please. And this is the cake that I did for me and Peepaw. Nice and moist. The filling adds something to it, and it is delicious for your Valentine. So 
Make your Valentine something sweet from your kitchen. Bye. Oh, wait a minute. Bye. Bye. Hey, y'all. So, I have finished my cupcakes. You saw the kids taste them. Um, I did finish decorating them because they had to go, and we were, that's why Peyton had her little coat on. Um, and I wanted to make sure that they did get a taste of the cupcakes before. We'll deliver them some um, on Saturday or Sunday or sometime or another, but they'll get them for Valentine's Day. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. We would love to have you as part of our family here on the YouTube. So come on back to Meemaw's house and we'll do some more cooking, some more crafting, a little bit of everything for your family. Y'all have a good Valentine's weekend. Bye. I thought you might want to see the inside of the cupcake where the filling is. So here's what my sideboard is looking like two days before Valentine's Day. Oh boy, somebody's got to eat all this stuff. So we have some gifts to deliver and some sweets to eat. Oh, please go over and take a look at Noah's little video. I'll link it up in the corner here so that you can go look at his video where we did the crafts together for his teachers and his bus driver. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Y'all be blessed and have a good Valentine's Day. Bye.